did the bass and drums of this entire new record in one t uh, live in a space in a, a old brick build brick room in an old sugar or candy factory on Lemon Street, the Keppel Building, Lemon and Queen, and. Uh, from that first live recording part, we had a lot of energy and we were all playing along, just only tracking the bass and drums. Had great miking set up and just had a really awesome live presence to when we would track the song, as we tried to do for the rest of the album. And uh, that was an awesome foundation to come back in and finish up with the guitars. And the vocals, uh, the vocal harmonies were just, they came together really nicely. The, the album before was was sort of rec was recorded over a couple of year span with a different cast of characters bouncing in and out, and it wasn't really a band record till the very end. And this album was a, our first chance as a band to come together and write songs and perform songs and record them together as a team, uh, all on the same page. And to us, it's exciting to see that and have a physical, like a hard copy of that, a little snapshot of that. You know, there. Some of us come from punk background. Some of us come from more like straight up rock background. Um, for better or for worse, Joey and I usually guide the the rawest portion of songwriting. Um, he he will, in most cases, come up with the lyrics. Um, and once he's got a set of lyrics and an idea, he and I get together. Um, sometimes tweak tweak lyrics, um, but we'll we'll get together and sort of flesh out exactly how this song should go. And not just from a lyrical perspective, but um, how, how the energy of that song should totally underline that, the, the meaning of the lyrics. Yeah, but it's, it's kind of interesting is that, you know, from my perspective, you know, I don't, really don't learn a lot of the lyrics to the songs until I hear them recorded. Just Nature of the Beast from where I, where I sit in the room, you know, or on the stage, that, you know, I, you know, I, I get glimpses of it, glimpses of them through the monitors, but I don't really get to the full lyrical content a lot of times until a song's recorded. So that's kind of interesting. Whereas, you know, just my training and background is very musically based, so I, I naturally gravitate towards, you know, melody, harmony, the, the tension, release, you know, how the rhythm interacts with all that. Um, and then the icing on the cake for me is always like, ah, oh, that's what you're talking about, you know? So it's kind of, a, it's almost like a, an awakening or a re revelation, I guess, for me at times. Well, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I've done a lot of records um, with other bands, and um, I, I was a co-owner of a recording studio, and I've recorded a lot of records. And, and I'll tell you, <clears throat> this latest album that we're doing now, that we're just finishing up now, has to be one of the finest things that I've ever worked on. It, 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 it is the finest thing I've ever had the opportunity to work with. And, and um, it was cool taking a role that wasn't center. It was... Uh, you know, you, you just put your piece in there and then you get you let everybody else kind of do their own piece and you sort of just take that background role. And then when you can listen to it later on, you do gain appreciation for what everybody else is doing. Generally songs, nine times out of 10, they don't come out how we expected them to come out. And that's a great thing. Um, everyone contributes in a way that's, that's unexpected and surprising and, and wonderful. And usually the finished product is umpteen times better than what we recorded in our garage band session in Joey's living room. Uh, and it's just sort of awesome to watch watch the breath each song takes on. I mean, for me, I didn't know how to play bass when we started this band. Those guys were like, you know, hey, you're a good friend of ours and we'd like to have you play in the band. And I was like, I'm terrible at guitar. And they're like, we don't want you to play guitar. So since then, I've played bass and learned, I guess. And uh, it's been amazing to have the competence, I guess now, or a limited competence to be able to sit in with these guys and learn a song and ha have it all come together. I would say it's awesome to be in this band because uh, these are my best friends and brothers in this band and uh, getting the chance to have like, a regularly scheduled time to get together and do what we love to do and make music that makes us all happy and uh, excited and proud and that quality time is, is awesome and to explore uh, creativity in each other's brains that way is, is really exciting. Well, you know, as you might be able to tell, we are really tight as a band. We're uh, really close buddies. And as, as a band, we are friends, brothers first, and that's what's the most exciting part about being in Slim Fit, is that we've got full, I have four of my best buddies to take the stage with, to write songs with, to be creative with. <laughs> Sean didn't even know how to play bass. <laughs> when we started this man, but he was such a good friend of ours that we wanted him involved in a creative process. And, uh, and so we got him. Sam jumped on a little later, Tony jumped on a little later, and the fact of the matter is, 
we are the tightest of tight. Uh, and that's the best part about being in Slim Pit, is that we're brothers, we're friends, we're musicians. You take that to the bank.